Hi. Uh, so first off, this is weird. Um, don't make fun of my recorded voice. So I have created a DIY veneer kit. Um, it's kind of geared towards beginners or woodworkers who have never worked with veneer. Um, and over the next few days, I'm going to be posting some videos about how to use this kit in particular and just general veneer DIY tips and tricks. This first video is going to be mostly about how to cut veneer and how to recognize different species and how they cut. Here we can see that the grain is running this direction. I want a straight cut or straight piece, but I'm going to go diagonal. So my first cut is going to be so light. It's going to be barely the weight of the knife. I'm just going to score those top fibers. Now sycamore is a soft wood. It's great for veneer, it easily cuts. It doesn't have a strong grain line, but I'm still going to keep these nice and light, just cutting a little bit more each time. And I have a nice cut there. It's a little furry. Maybe my blade isn't exactly that sharp right now, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna show an example of cutting across the grain. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult you're going against the fibers, so you want to be even lighter each time. If you go harder, press down harder, that could happen. The blade could catch and rip out. Also, you're going to see here there's going to be a lot of torn fibers. It's not going to be a very straight line. So the key is to just keep going as light as possible. Let's do an example on the oak. If I want to do a straight line with the grain, the chance of my knife following that as opposed to following the ruler is really easy. So you want to just keep it so light, light as possible. If you go hard, especially the first time, see it went with the grain. So this isn't a straight line anymore and it's not going to be a nice seam. You can see the gaps in there. If you are having trouble working with oak and you want that straight line, just twist it a little bit. Just go a little bit more diagonal. Also with these stronger woods, it's going to be more difficult to cross grain. So you're gonna to wanna to be even lighter. The chances of tearing out are a lot higher. So I just did five or six passes and you can still barely see that line. You wanna keep it nice and light. When cutting veneer, you wanna think about the grain direction in purpose for cutting and making it easy, but you also wanna think about the grain direction when it comes to your design. It can be fun to play around with different grains and mix them up a little bit. You can use all the same wood and use this very strong grain line to create different kind of patterns. So you have the grain going this way, then this, makes it a little bit more interesting. So I wanna talk about the blade that you're going to use. A lot of people will say that in woodworking you have to have the best and the biggest and the sharpest tools, and I think they're compensating for something. I used a box cutter for a while when I was doing this. Like, just use what you have, and don't let anyone tell you that you need a ton of money to be a woodworker. Um, I will say though, if you have one of these, they have the multiple blades, make sure you are breaking them off and refreshing the blade. If you're having a lot of trouble getting a clean cut, chances are the blade has gotten dull. You'd be surprised how quickly that could happen. So just break it off and start with a new one. 